Wednesday, we're in the woodshed with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Today, we're looking at three licks from So Excited. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Wednesday. We're looking at another SRV Woodshed video, another lick lesson. We're going to check out So Excited. Great instrumental by Stevie would uh, really open the shows with this, vamp it up. One of the most memorable performances was from the Elma Combo show, obviously. You know, that whole show in general is just amazing. But we're going to look at uh, a rhythm lick that he would play in between the kind of shuffle. We're going to look at uh, a lick that will kind of build some intensity when you're going to maybe like the Albert King position. And then uh, we're gonna just uh, talk about a classic, a classic SRV going from the first position to the octave area, you know what I mean? Uh, and just really, really kind of suspenseful. In this performance too, I advise anybody to pay attention to Stevie's momentum in vibrato. He starts off with a really slow kind of whiny vibrato and towards the end, he's just full on. <laughs> You know, he's got all the Albert King, emo uh, all the emotion going with it, and also incorporating his own Texas style. So I'll get into the three licks and show them to you now. All right, so for the gear guys, I'm playing the 59 Strat through uh, Super Reverb with a Tube Screamer on to kind of soak the amp up because it's a little later. Can't really play too loud. Um, I'm tuned to E flat. I know you guys get upset, but you know what I mean? Checking out this first, this first lick here, you have that, you know, uh, Lim DeLue style, Ray Sharp and the Razor Blade shuffle the... Your four. When you go to the five. Starts off with that foundational blues lick I've taught many times, where you're bending up, you know, on the seventh fret of the G string, and playing the E and the B, uh, the B and the E. Very Chuck Berry if you wanted to go. But we're not going to do that here in this one. We're going to bend up slightly on the G string on the seventh fret. And then we're going to come over to the 8th fret on the B string. We're going to bring the B string up into A. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend it. Four, four strikes and on the fourth time we kind of get that whiny vibrato. So we're going to hit that four times. Vibrato, and then go back to that foundational blues lick. And then this is something cool that Stevie would do that I caught in a bootleg. So he's kind of bending the the G string on the fifth fret instead of coming out of it and going. There's a million ways he would do it, but that's one that I caught that was really cool. So, again, bending up the foundational blues lick. Which is basically just the E, the B, and you, when you get to the G string on the fifth fret, you do a little, a little quarter bend. approach it that's just something that i i heard and i saw and it was pretty cool uh it's actually makes the ease of playing because it keeps you in that position and it's also reminiscent of like some of the things you would do with the so it's just one more time going through it foundational blues lick this next lick is still in that foundational blues uh category very uh, 
builds up a lot of momentum, this one right here, and you're just basically hitting those same, bending up on the G on the seventh. <laughs> You got 5th fret on the B string, 8th fret on the B string, 5th fret on the E. It's a little tricky to get that roll going, but once you do, you can't escape it. It happens on its own. Once again, just that foundational. Once you get that roll going and you're in time and you're comfortable, you can take that to your Albert King spot. And this next one is really cool, you know what I mean? Um, very dynamic, and, and, and it, 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 it separates yourself from wanting to play in, the, in this first, posi first pentatonic position so much. Bring the G string all the way up to the 19th fret. So you're going to bring that G all the way up to the 19th. So you're going to go 15, 15, back to 15. Then you're going to bend the 20th fret. fret still on the G string so you're gonna go just alternating E B E B E B on the 17th and that's a real multi-step bend because you're going this is all in the high E string. All right, so we got through another Woodshed Wednesday with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, the best thing to do with those fast repeating licks is to get comfortable with them first. You don't have to play them with uh, lightning speed. You know, learn them slow, and that's what I do myself is Try to learn them at a slower rate and then just build your speed up. You know what I mean? That's the best thing to do for my playing and maybe it'll help you guys. You know what I mean? Um, and then when you want to get a great feel for the song, go back to the original, listen to Ray Sharp and the Razor Blades do a song called Linda Lou and you can really get that tempo of the shuffle down. <laughs> you know, keep in mind when Stevie's doing it, he's adding so much of that that huge right so that shuffle is really in the right hand um if you want a future lesson i can maybe talk about the right hand technique and a shuffle song like that maybe talk about a shuffle technique with uh, pride and joy and a shuffle technique with uh, so excited or something like that but yeah man there's your uh, woodshed wednesday with stevie ray vaughn talking about so excited I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys can use the video. Uh, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks to all the new subscribers. We're still pushing our goal for 5,000 by January 1st. So I appreciate everybody. I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. Peace. <laughs>